I not edit it. Or okay. I won't edit it. <laughs> okay. Hey, guys. This is Trisha Paytas, and I have a new podcast, Dish with Trish, coming out once a week on Apple Podcasts and Podcast One, where I'll be talking about my life and stuff going on in the world, interviewing guests, and so much more stuff that you won't see anywhere else. So check it out. Dish with Trish. <laughs> I was so good up until that point. Okay, one more. Okay, I'll keep it shorter. Hey guys, what's up? It's Trisha Paytas and I have a new podcast, Dish with Trish, out on Apple Podcasts and Podcast One, coming out once a week, every week, where we'll be talking about my life, situational stuff, news you won't see anywhere else, and interviewing fun guests. So check it out, Dish with Trish. Okay, oh my God, <laughs> I'm really bad at doing this. Hey guys, what is up? Hi, hello. I have my apple juice and water and uh, I went to this place. Okay, so I got my nails done. Okay, my wedding nails. That's happening, that's a thing that's coming up. Okay, um, I should be on my wedding diet which has to start tomorrow because I can't do that today because pretty close to my nail place is this place I've been following on Instagram called Elbows Mac and Cheese. Um, there's a ton of places I follow on Instagram that are in Anaheim. The last place I went to, Grand House Burger, was a little bit disappointing. But this is really cool. Their Instagram's really bomb. It's kind of weird because they don't have pictures on their little menus in there. I think that would help a lot because I was so overwhelmed by all the mac and cheese options when I got in there that I was like, I don't really know what to get. So I don't know if I got the right thing. I wanted the fried mac and cheese bites, which I think they did have. But I thought cheesy fries might be more exciting to eat on camera. And I didn't want to be, you know. They also asked me if I wanted I need the one or two forks, and I said two because I didn't want to feel like a fatty. I was just like, oh, um, two. Um, okay, it smells really good. It's made, oh my gosh, it's so hot. <laughs> it's made fresh to order. So you do have to wait a little bit for it, which I think is really cool. All these places are very low-key, very, um, let me talk about diets in a second, but it's very, they're very unassuming. They're kind of like, it's like I'm literally next to a Baja Fresh and a Cold Stone. You know what I mean? So, but they're Instagram famous and they, they're they really good with their Instagram. So whoever runs elbows, that smells so good. Oh my God, it's literally so, so bomb. It's like such not a cute aesthetic. With so it smells so good. I was going to try and get a thumbnail, but I think the best way to get a thumbnail is to actually just eat it. Oh God, the fries and the cheese. This is like cheesy. Oh, fries. Where are the fries at though? Here's the fries. It's so, I mean, I don't even know, but it smells so bomb. Mm. Oh. I got the very basic mac and cheese. I just sprayed. I'm gonna, I gotta talk about that too. Basically, I have a ton of mac and cheese options in there, and you can kind of pick. I got the basic, basic mac and cheese with french fries. You can also put them on tater tots. So there's, you know, a lot you can do. Mmm. Oh my Cheese is very trendy now on YouTube. Um, in the sense that like, I see everyone like dipping things in cheese, like stretchy fried cheese and, elf and dipping crab like an Alfredo sauce. Like it's like cheese is, and just like cheese sauces, like cheese sauce for boils, you know, seafood boils. I don't, I like cheese. I don't love it. I don't want to like dip things in cheese. Which is like my favorite thing in the whole world. Whew. But yeah, like cheesy fries I noticed people are making. Like those in and out, like their homemade in and out fry things. So I know this is like a really big trend. And I'm not sure why. This is really, really hot and fresh. Which is, you know, a good thing. But it's so bomb. <laughs> I love it. Um ooh, it's hot. Yeah, but diets to me. It's so funny, like, I always, like, wait a couple days before an event to diet, which is, like, 
to be supportive of a diet, like you should probably diet for like a month to see results. Because if you just diet a few days before, you're just basically losing water weight, which does look good in photos, but doesn't make a difference. But I have a story. My eighth grade graduation, my mom bought me this beautiful dress and it was expensive and we cannot afford it, but she bought it for me months prior. I think it might have even been like a Christmas present or something like that. But it's just so warm. I want to show you guys the gooeyness, but it's also really hot. Mm. Well, graduation comes around. I go to try on my dress because we're going to get shoes for my dress. So I go to try on my dress. Dress doesn't fit. <laughs> I'm so frustrated and sad and mad at myself. I gained probably a good 10 pounds, probably 15 pounds in the course of six months. <laughs> You know, my beautiful dress doesn't fit. They don't have a bigger size, so I'm like, it was like 40 with I'm, like, I'm starting myself. First day I started myself, and then the next day my mom asked me if I wanted, you know, chicken nuggets or whatever for dinner. I was like, no, mom, I gotta fit into that dress. She goes, you know what? You're not gonna fit into it by the time it rolls around. Four days, you're not gonna fit into that dress. We have to get you a new dress anyways. Just, why don't you just eat? I was so relieved. <laughs> I was so hungry. So then I had chicken fingers. And um, we had gone to Rockford, which was like a city close by, like about a half hour drive in. But like you had to like plan to go to Rockford. And um, we went to Rockford and got a bigger dress. And it was touchy. I actually really liked the dress. I thought it looked really pretty. I wasn't like, I wasn't as sad when I saw it. I was like, oh, it's pretty cute. it's good if you like cheesy this is the mac and cheese place for you for sure i like the concept that you can put on fries which is like very cheesy like i really like cheese So I got a water too. I was gonna drink all of this. Um. Oh, person just looked straight in to me. <laughs> that was crazy. Also, I'm wearing my I myself and strange and usual shirt. I got from Beetlejuice. Um, Broadway show that we saw. It was so good. Beetlejuice on Broadway is so amazing. Oh my god. Alex Brightman is in it. And honestly, you guys know, I obviously love Roger Bart and I love Christian Borrell and I love Sutton Foster. I love, uh, we just recently saw Christian Borrell in Little Shop. Uh, who else do I love that's like a Broadway legend? Obviously, Lynn Manuel himself, I saw in Puerto Rico as Hamilton. Alex Brightman as Beetlejuice, best performance I've ever seen. It was the one performance I've seen. Like I said, I saw Lin Manuel as Hamilton. I saw the original Glinda and Alphaba, Christian Chenoweth and Idina Menzel. I saw Christian Borel and Willy Wonka, Christian Borel and Legally Blonde, Christian Bo Borel and False Settles, Christian Borel and Little Shop of Horrors. Um, I've seen Roger Bar obviously in the producers. I've seen the greatest of the greats in their roles. I've seen Sam Foster and Anything Goes. Nothing had given me more chills. I saw Alex Brightman in School of Rock. Nothing has given me more chills than Alex Brightman in Beetlejuice. It was so good. And the girl who played Lydia, Sophia and Caruso, so good. The whole, this was the first Broadway show. I'm trying to think of another one. It's like every ensemble is amazing. Like it's an ensemble cast for sure. And I cannot think of another show for the life of me that the ensemble cast was this good. This was, it was just like made me happy. I'm not by any means a Broadway expert. I see a lot of Broadway shows, but I'm not like, you know, I don't know. Um, no, I haven't seen Hades Town. I haven't seen Tootsie. And the guy who plays the lead in Tootsie won, won the Tony this year. I thought, I thought Alex won for Beetlejuice, but 
he was nominated but he didn't win he lost against the guy who played tootsie so i want to see tootsie now to see if that's justified because alex is like i like school of rock i did fun fact i actually saw alex brightman as a block in wicked i did not know it was him though i have the playbill from when aaron tevia i think his name is played fiero and he was in that same wicked production that was a long time ago so i technically have seen him in three shows and i didn't know it but he's so good and so and i've been obsessed with watching like interviews with him now he's so good but that whole cast like debut chills uh I recognize the guy who played Adam. I think his name was Adam. The uh, originally played by Alec Baldwin's character. You know the the couple that dies in the house. Um, I saw him in something rotten, which which was Christian Borrell as well, and he was really good in that. But um, but this was this was just amazing, truly. Oh, was, and the girl who plays Sophia, the girl who plays Lydia, her voice. I mean, both of them, their voices were insane and her voice was like alex Bryman was so great and like stole the show i think because one he's like the lead character but the lead character i don't know if it's how he was played i would be interested to see someone else play that role to see if it's that role that everyone can make funny you know because not everyone can like for instance david diggs as lafayette and hamilton he really made that role funny i've seen so many other jeffersons and lafayettes good but not like you're not you're not dying of laughter over it, you know so i think but then there's roles like the dentist in little shop of horrors who played the actor plays multiple roles throughout but the dentist is written so funny that it would be hard not to make that character funny so i don't know but alex's voice was insane his like beetlejuice voice was so good lydia's voice the song she sang um creepy old guys i did it on my tiktok way back when when i was just 10 i love that i was confused da, 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 da. now i really love creepy old guys she had sings a song called dead mom in the in the movie in the play she's so good they're all so good honestly i'm shook by it and like i said we actually went to new york well we went to work but um the play I really wanted to see was Little Shop of Horrors. With Christian Borrell. See, there's not a lot of fries in this. I'm kind of over it. The mac and cheese is good, but it's too cheesy. I know that's weird to say about mac and cheese, but it's honestly too cheesy. It was Little Shop of Horrors. It has Jonathan Groff. Christian Borum and Tammy Hatcherson, maybe? She played Judy Garland, a young Judy Garland in um, the Made for TV movie about Judy Garland's life. But, and that was phenomenal. Amazing. Like, that that play was amazing, but I couldn't stop singing the Beetlejuice songs. I couldn't stop looking up, like, the clips that they have online. This is the guy that looked into my soul. He keeps passing by. It was really, really good, so... I want to go back and see it again. I'm obsessed with it, actually. Like, I'm obsessed. I, I love the original Beetlejuice movie. Who doesn't? But I wouldn't say I was, like, the biggest fan. I wasn't, like, obsessed with it. You know what I mean? I like it when it's on. I watch it. But so, so good. They did such an amazing job. So good job. Ugh. And I looked up um, Alex Brightman as Bach. He was on one of the Dancing Through Lives. There was a version up on, on YouTube. And he was like hella young and hella thin. You know one thing I can never relate to? I've never been like skinny. Like if you look at pictures of me at 19, like I'm not skinny by any means. I was hella skinny. But I like the way he is now. He's really like definitely, definitely not chubby because he like runs around stage and stuff like that. But he's so much broader i guess it just happens as you age like men just fill out more but he's he has such a good like um 
charisma on stage. It's really, really good. I'm honestly gonna make myself sick if I keep eating this cheese. I guess that's why they asked me if I needed two forks. But when we have a chance to go to New York, both shows are amazing. But if you're gonna spend your money, if you can only can see one, Beetlejuice for sure. I would love to go back actually in general and just see. Um, I would love to see Hades Town and I would love to see Tootsie to be honest. I don't know if the original actor is still in Tootsie. I don't know. When, if you ever get a chance to see an original cast on Broadway, see them. That's what I've learned because I know um, original casts and yeah, the other casts always do great, but I mean, everyone is talented. More talented than I, but the original cast are original for a reason. They're always superb in the roles, so I have no bra on today. Um, but yeah, that's my eating show for today. This has uh, been an Elbows Mac and Cheese review. It's pretty good. Uh, once again, proving Instagram food is not always as bomb as it looks on um, on Instagram. Sorry, I'm like, I literally, this is a sign that I need to literally go on a diet. Or at least watch what I eat. I've been eating like literally whatever I want, whenever I want. I've been having like five meals a day. I literally find it hard to breathe. So that's not good. I like, I need to go back to eating one meal a day too. That was my other thing. I like intermittent fasting or just juicing when I'm not. But dang. Eating three meals a day like this ain't, that's no good. No bueno. Yeah. But yes, I'm officially moving next week. I'm officially getting married this week. There's so much happening. So stay tuned. Also, my Dish with Trish podcast might be out right now. You can download it on Apple Podcasts or Podcast One. I will link it below. I also have a Dish with Trish channel. Be sure to subscribe there. I don't know if we're going to put full episodes, half episodes, or maybe just clips over there. But we're definitely going to start filming. And especially once I move into my house, I'm going to like, have a little studio in there. So watch out for that. I like my podcast because it's very... The podcast is where I first spilt my, my engagement news. And then I went home and made a video because I was like, oh, I wasn't going to even talk about it. And then I talked about it on the podcast. I was like, I should probably tell my people on YouTube first. But at the same time, if it comes on the podcast, it slips out. And then you'll hear it first on the podcast. So definitely subscribe to that. And it's a lot of fun. And I think I'm going to be changing this channel a little more. I'm going to still do mukbangs and stuff. But I'm not going to do so many talky videos on here. I'm going to focus more on music videos. I want to do more like thought out like videos. I have so many like video ideas that I've been wanting to do. And I think once I move, I'm going to feel more inspired. And I'm going to hire like a full-time like camera person to help me out. And then make this more of like an entertainment channel. I still do check-ins and stuff and then my vlogging channel of course but um podcasts i really want to do is where i'm going to just talk my little heart out um but yeah that's that i love you guys oh hi all right i'll see you guys in my next video Bye, guys. yeah so well that's one of the things uh i've had to, there's a lot i've had to say and i just can't say everything on youtube i did a whole video and i never released it huh. and it was like an hour and a half long video about why i was like loving meth this year which is very not like me oh Wow. That's the tea. Oh, oh my God. I got so much tea. Shit. Can we get Jason as a guest on this podcast? Because the tea at my birthday party is this. Jason blocked me that night. I remember that. Yeah. And it was, and I was, I was on meth and there was some tea to that whole story, but I feel like I should only say it if it's he's It's crazy here. for me. <laughs> like I had no, no idea. Mm -hmm. I thought you were in, in perfect health and, mm -hmm. and in great mood. Yeah. No. You really would like to come in here and talk about that. Tana and I are so cool. I don't know why everyone thinks I hate her. <laughs> I think she secretly hates me, but acts like she likes me in person. Yeah, sure. <laughs>